Hello everyone. One day, a man who had moved to a new town struck up a conversation with a stranger on the street. He talked to the stranger about very many things. Then at some point he asked, Could you lend me one thousand dollars please? No, I do not know you well enough to lend you any money. Oh, that's very strange, the man said. Where I used to live, people wouldn't lend me money because they knew me. And now I have moved here, people won't lend me money because they do not know me. Friends, there are times in everyone's life when we feel ignored, unwanted, rejected, isolated and left out by others. Sadly, sometimes we treat others the same way too. We forget that we all have begun our life on earth as strangers and all things belong to God. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 25, verse 23 in the Old Testament, the Lord Yahweh says, Land will not be sold absolutely, for the land belongs to me, and you are only strangers and guests of mine. But as we grow older, we tend to choose people according to our needs, likes and dislikes. We choose to interact with some people and avoid some others. Even though sometimes we try our best not to, we all judge and treat others according to their appearance, color, race, culture, religion, talents, work or lifestyle. We give preference to one person over others with the same qualities, whereas the Bible teaches us to treat everyone the same. One of the early Christian leaders who strongly discouraged favoritism, partiality, bias and discrimination was St. James, of whom we read in today's second reading. The text is the continuation of the theme that we had read last week. Let us remind ourselves that the main subject of his letter is faith must be active. According to James, what we Christians do must be in accordance with what we believe. Otherwise, he says, our faith is dead and not real. So throughout the letter, James discourages any form of Christian devotion that appears to be superficial and instead he emphasizes the necessity of accompanying faith with good works to receive the grace of salvation and eternal peace. In last week's passage, he called on us to gratefully recognize that everything that God has given us is good, especially the word of truth, which you could also refer to the word of life or the wisdom of God or the word of God that has come down to us through his son Jesus Christ. He also exhorted us to humbly welcome the word of truth into our lives, to joyfully hear or read the word and faithfully carry out what the word of truth dictates, so that we might be saved. If we do not do what we are called upon to do by the Lord, James said that we are merely fooling ourselves. He also reminded us that our religiosity and our faith ought to be manifested fully in our life, particularly through our concern and love for widows and orphans in their afflictions. However, he clearly does not want us to limit our call to holiness by just caring for widows and orphans. In today's text, he further says, Show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. What does it mean to show partiality? It means to favor or pay special attention to some people over others or treat others on the basis of their wealth, position, authority, popularity, looks or influence. As an example, he cites two believers. One is rich in fine clothes and wearing gold rings, and the other is poor in shabby clothes, being treated very differently at a Christian gathering. He criticizes them for treating the persons with equal claims for human dignity differently 
and making a distinction based on their social class, position, wealth, prestige or recognition. And then he points out three harmful effects of favoritism. 1. Showing partiality sets a person up as the judge of others. The person acts as a God and says who is acceptable to God and who is not. 2. Showing partiality reveals the unjust thoughts of the person. That is, a person sees material things such as clothes, ornaments and titles as more important than the person and shows favoritism to gain something in return. 3. Showing partiality discriminates against the poor and lowly, a people who are loved by God. Friends, what is the message for us? The text is a reminder for us that in God's eyes we are all equal and we are all the same. To Him, no one smells better, looks better or sounds better or more important, more valuable or more precious than another. Since God shows no favoritism, we must be like Him and must not show favoritism either. Let us be careful to reject all forms of prejudice, discrimination and favoritism toward anyone based on economic status, race or anything else. Instead, let us treat everyone with love and respect. We especially ought to be careful in how we treat people in community worship services, social gatherings, schools and other institutions. All must be welcome. All must be treated equally. All must be received just as they are and embraced just as they are. No one should be neglected or shunned. Let us manifest the sincerity of our love for God and our faith in Him by acts of understanding, respect, compassion, kindness and love toward others regardless of differences. Amen. God bless you.